Hi guys, this is the first part of a video on how to create a YouTube channel icon using Photoshop CS5. Now the first thing you'll have to do if you want to make an icon that looks roughly the same as mine is you'll have to download a few um, patterns via the internet and this video is just basically to show you how to, where to get them from, how to download it and how to actually install it onto Photoshop because you have to do um, a bit of mucking around with the extraction files and then copying and pasting to a different file. If you already know how to do this, just go on to the next video, which is how to actually create a Photoshop uh, channel icon. It looks my ones, I'll just show you them. There's one here, grey version of it, and then one with my name on it. And these are just basic ones, obviously. Um, you can get better looking ones, but this one, those ones only took me about five minutes to make, so I just thought I'd do that one because it's just so fast to do. So basically, if you want to get some patterns, go on the internet and type in a website called 22pixels.com and then go to patterns and obviously you can download whatever patterns you want here I always found that the best patterns are when you sort by number of views so the top patterns get the most views first and the one I'm going to use in my tutorial in the next video are the I'm going to use the carbon fiber ones so just click on carbon fiber click download it will take you to another site if it's okay. Download file. And it's only like 2 meg in size. So it should only take a few minutes. Or not even that, like 20 seconds. Okay, I advise you to have WinZip, uh, the free version. If you don't, I think Windows 7 does have its own extraction program, but I use WinZip just because it's free in that. So if you've got Chrome, you can do it straight from here. Just show in the folder. It will be in my downloads. If I get rid of one of these. Now, you can't just put this straight into the Photoshop program because it's all zipped up. So you go to WinZip, extract to here, use evaluation version, and that's uh, now extracted. You open it up. Now, don't look at these copies or you know any of the PNGs. You want the one that has the PAT file. That's the one, you know, whenever, if there's loads of icons or whatever in here, always choose the one that has a PAT file. Now, copy it. And this is the quite hard bit. You have to just go through, trawl through loads of different folders. So, first of all, go onto your, uh, your local disk. If you've got a 64-bit version of the program like I have, it will be under Program Files. If you have the 32-bit version, it will be under Program Files x86. So mine will be under Program Files because I've got 64-bit. Double click, go to Adobe. Adobe Photoshop CS5 or CS4 if you've got that. Now it's uh, presets. You have to try and look for patterns that's so there. And right click and paste. I've already got it uh, carbon fiber there, so I won't do it, but that's exactly how you do it. That is basically how you put a pattern from the internet, you've downloaded from the internet into Photoshop CS5. Next time you open it, all those patterns will be there. So thanks for watching. If you want to go ahead and go to the next part of the video which shows you how to actually create the YouTube channel icon, that will be in my next video.